Well, good afternoon and welcome to a sh another short vlog. Um, just scoring Rossby. The next train is due in fairly soon and we'll go with that one to uh, either Grantham or Nottingham and see what we can get from there. So we're going to just score this station today. Just a short vlog for scoring uh, Rossby. Okay, so we came from Cottingley via a convoluted route, which you'll see at the end, and, um, and then we'll um, see how we're going to get back. Okay, let's... Uh, Let's wait for the train now and see what's here. Right, I've just moved off the station momentarily. So there's a, a signal box here, which uh, presumably controls these gates. I think you'll have to do it manually because it looks like that kind of a crossing. It's not one way you've got like a big wheel inside and it automatically does the gates. We need to be on this side where I was earlier. I did just ask if I could have a look inside the box and he says something about not even a manager's allowed in there with that authority. <laughs> so anyway, no worries. Just thought if it was a possibility, I would do it. So yeah, there's a signal box. And that's looking towards Nottingham and Grantham and the London, which is where we're gonna head for. And there's some really old signs here as well. Look at that one there. These probably date from, oh, days of steam certainly I would think. There's a couple of shelters, one on each side. Uh, bin bags, bin bags, don't appear to be any bin bags anywhere. I know there's a Harrington hump at that end, but there doesn't appear to be one on this side. Not that it's a problem for us, of course, we can manage to step up. So yeah, very nice little station. I'd like to have a look in the village, but unfortunately there isn't really time. Right, the signalman is uh, shutting the gates to the road traffic now because our train is due. Very few of these crossings left. Mm, very few. Must admit, if you're stuck on the wrong side, you can still open the wicket gate there and cross if you need it to. It's not like being stuck and you'd miss the train. It'd be very annoying. Right, so our train is approaching. It's like a 156, I think. Just give them a hand signal, so I'm not so sure whether it's a request stop or not, this. Anyway, it makes it pretty obvious. So it's 156918 in the New East Midlands Railways colours, that look of it. Right, just a couple of minutes late, but nothing serious. So we're leaving Rossby now and heading towards Grantham and Nottingham. Okay, so we'll see where we get to next. Yeah, it's certainly better than getting off this train here. This is where we were. Not so long ago, a year or two perhaps, we did a walk to Ancaster, didn't we, I think, from uh, Ruskington, was it? Mm. Lancaster without an L, Ancaster, and there's a little foot crossing there from uh, the platform, it's brilliant. It might have been this particular train we got on here, actually, if I remember rightly. Mm, probably. Right, we've moved on and we've got off at Fiskerton. Now this is where we're going to do a short walk now, just to roll stuff the next one up. Just got off this train here, so I'll switch cameras. See this one go out. You can almost see, but you can see it. You can see the next station, Rolston. So we'll head on down there. As I said, there's a road up literally just, just there. We'll walk down there and then uh, head over to Rolston. Yes, I'm a vlogger. What, what's your Nigel K. Thomas. Just a minute. Keen, uh, keen lad there to know what we're doing. Right, so this is um, Fiskerton. That's looking towards Lincoln. And this is where we've come from, from Nottingham. The signal box looks as if it's had a bit of subsidence, don't you think, here? 
does look a little bit uh, past its best. In fact, I'm not so sure it's actually in use. There's some levers inside it. So we've only got a few minutes. I want to get, no, it's nights out of use is that. There's no way, there's, there's, there's no steps to it. Right, well, this one certainly has to be the most easiest walk we've done since we started. It's just down this road and and straight to Rolston. I'm not sure it's pronounced it, Rolston or Rolston. We'll see. Following someone else, but they're on the wrong side of the road, technically. Never mind. So it's just on the right is Rolston Station down here. Then we'll nip back a couple of stops and take Bleasby. I went to Bleasby and I did that walk to Thurgerton to Aslockton, but we didn't actually get on or off at Bleasby, so we couldn't actually consider we ticked it, even though we'd actually been on the station. Right, we're almost at the end of the walk. It's very short, is this one? If it's half a mile, if it's half a mile, that's all it'll be. Oh, there could be a snag here because we're on the wrong side, aren't we? For going back towards Nottingham. So, the thing is, the train's not due till nine minutes past. And it's a minute or two late, so we should be okay. This is another short walk, just like uh, Netherfield, Carlton Netherfield that time. If we had more time, I would have liked to walk on some paths, but unfortunately that's not really possible at this current time. Oh, there is a racetrack up there, I think. Something like a racetrack. Anyway, we better get onto the correct side. Is it a... It looks like some kind of horse racing or dog track from Google Earth. Right, we need to be on that far platform. Now that's looking back towards, well, just needs to see, can't get the air close out there, that's looking back towards Nottingham. We need that side, this side now that we're on here. Let's see if we can find a way to get through, wherever it is. Bomb. Anyway, here we are, Rolston. Oh, it's the green tick station, but look at it, at least it is this side. I didn't notice the other side, but I imagine it probably will be because it's a level crossing, so can't imagine there being any steps. Right, we'll stop view ranger and then see how far we've gone. It won't be much. It might be just over half a mile. Right. It could be a freight. Right, this is our train, it's not a freight. I think it might have caught up some time. See, it was about five minutes late. So just for two stops with this one to Burton Joyce, tick that and then we'll head home, I think. 158-863 on the service to Leicester. Right, so Rolston, tick. I think we'll stop at Fleet Fiskata as well, just going back now. Express going past the other side. Right, please be, tick. Let's watch this one go and then we'll head off. Okay, that 
it's heading off to Leicester. So, The platforms here at Burton Joyce are staggered. I didn't really notice this last time. I don't think that I was here, but uh, it's quite a quite a long stagger, is this? If I'm not much mistaken, I seem to remember Jeff Marshall saying something about platform stations with staggered platforms. Dilton Marsh is quite a long stagger. This one is certainly going to be second to that. I would think it's quite a quite a few yards between the platforms. It is. I imagine the other one used to be on this side, other side of crossing, but uh, it has been changed, I would think. So. So we don't actually plan on going anywhere from here, although I've got about 20 minutes to kill. We need to be on this side though, I don't want to get stuck on the wrong side again. Yeah, I imagine that that building there will probably have something to do with the old station. Wouldn't mind betting that the other platform was that, that side at one time. Anyway, it's a green tick station because there's a ramp down there and a ramp up here, so full access. There's even a bin bag here, yeah, it's been changed recently, there's a note in it. Look at that. It's not blowing in the breeze because there's nothing, no wind, no breeze now is there? It detected a slight spot of rain again, but anyway. So yes, Bleasby, take. Just had a little walk away from Bleasby station and this is the village of Goverton, just up here. I haven't really got time to go very far because I've only got about a good 10 minutes or so before the next train comes that we need to get back on. Uh, so it smells like someone's burning something over here. Yes, yeah, someone is. The flowers look really nice here. Oh, is it hot? Mm. Yeah, someone's burning some rubbish in a little skillet or whatever it is, a um, incinerator. Look at the flowers though. It's not the only one, there's some really nice flowers. There's a tea room down here, which I must admit, if uh, at a more appropriate time, we might try that if we come here again. But uh, that is unlikely in the short term, obviously, because we've only just ticked it now, and that's it. We don't need to come again for a while. But just look at the garden. Look at these houses. Lovely. Wish I could grow flowers that good. I do. So that's the tea room over there. And there's a thank you NHS sign, that banner that they've put up. Right, level crossing's just ahead. That's where the station is. One platform on either side, of course. Right, level crossing is down. This is our next train. So I may go to Highcombe, take that one, otherwise we might just jump off at Newark Northgate, undecided yet. So anyway, this has definitely been ticked this station now, so we can leave here with our head held high. So what's this train? It's, uh, it's 158813, heading for Lincoln. Right, I decided to get off at Newark Castle now. We'll leave Highcombe till later. Unfortunately, it does mean postponing it, but we've got to Lincoln now and again. We've got friends there, so we'll do it that way. Anyway, um, we'll uh, head off over to Northgate shortly. Might get something to eat because I'm a bit hungry now. So let's switch cameras. Right, this train's heading off now, so we'll uh, head over to Newark Northgate. It's about a quarter an hour, 20 minute walk, I think. means leaving the station this way. I'm not going to record this one now because I've done it before two or three times and um, it's not really actually a walk in the same sense as uh, so it's just connecting between two stations. Just 
So as you can obviously see, there's a castle here, hence the name of Newark Castle. Last time I was here, I seem to remember some kind of uh, antique or flea market across there. Last time I was here. Anyways, let's have a look at the castle and we'll head over to Northgate. We've got about half an hour or so. It's easy to do, we'll easy walkable. That is the barge there, it's still there now, and that's where we had a meal uh, before today. Quite often, if we're going to Lincoln for the Christmas market, it was uh, like Cottingley Leeds, Doncaster, Lincoln, direct, and back via Newark, and quite often I'd get off at Castle, walk over to Northgate, like we're doing now, and have some food there, but that is uh, not an option at the moment. That's the remains of the castle there. Not sure whether or not you can actually go around it. But uh, we haven't got time to answer that question now. Right, we're now at New York Northgate and I'm midway through some fish and chips. This is our train to Leeds because it's slowing down to stop here. It's due away in about four minutes, so we'll get on right behind the 91. window label there but anyway let's get on it all right we're just leaving new at north here now heading for leeds <clears throat> so we'll end this video here now once we get past the flat diamond crossing because i think it's gone on long enough all right just coming up to the flat crossing which still hasn't been replaced with a flyover Here we are. that's looking back down towards Newark Castle where we were earlier that's the crossover right so we're on this train to Leeds now and uh, that's it so I'll end the video here and I'll finish my fish and chips. <laughs> they finish them. So yeah, cue music and see you next video. Bye for now.